Hi, this is Brett with Ape Small, Miss Small TV. I've tested 15 different ammo types in the CZ457 at 1. The shooting was done on a bipod, rear bag, using the uh, 419 rail, the area 419 rail, Vortex scope rings, which I really like these, and a scope that I really like, the uh, Athlos. If this is a 40, a 10 by 40 by 56. Kind of a big bulky scope, but I love it. And the reason why I like it is mostly because, well, I mean, it's a good price. The optics are good. And the Radical has a, a single dot. I'll show you an image here. That makes it very easy to shoot the ARA targets, which ultimately I'm shooting a dot. And the dot that's in the scope is smaller than the dot I'm shooting, so I could get really precise. Doesn't necessarily help my shooting, but I can. Um, we're working on that. Uh, so yeah, with the scope, uh, the one drawback between this rifle and this scope is between here and here. When I cycle the bolt, there, there is not really, I can't really hold that without hitting, can you see that? Without hitting the, the uh, windage. So I end up just, you know, using this. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's different. I haven't really had to deal with that before on another rifle. But I think the combination is, is, is worth the little change on how I, I control the bolt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the bench of the ammo and then we'll go through the ammo one at a time and talk about the groups. The groups, I was impressed. This rifle shoots very, very well. I recently did a ammo testing for the Tika T1X, which I'll put a link in the description. And I will say this, on the, on the Tika group, the, the best the smallest group I had was 0.39 inches, and I was actually pretty impressed with how I did. But in this rifle, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five of the ammos that I shot were all under 0.39. So that will give you an idea right off the bat that I believe this is a better shooter than the Tika. I mean, it is. I love the Tika very much. In fact, some stuff on the Tika I like better than this rifle, but the bottom line is the round hitting the paper. Anyway, let me get this desk cleared off and we'll go through each of the ammos one at a time. All right, let's go through these. First, Ely target, 0.31. Now this ammo costs $6.99 and I will say this. I have this listed as a round to do practice. Of course, I only have, I think I have less than 500 left of this, so I'm hoping to get some more someday. But at, at 0.31 inches being the smallest group out of everything I tested, and I actually shot, well, I guess here it says I only shot three plates with this, but I felt like I did, I did at least double that, and it was consistent. So I'm actually pretty blown away on this. You know what I'm going to do? Here's a plug to Mr. Revolver Guy and the day at the range. He set up this cool competition where you shoot this a competition, kind of a fun whatever thing for online folks to shoot this target, send him a picture of it, he'll measure it out for you and get a web page. I actually kind of think that's fun, cool. We, we ought to be, figure out how to become a community. So I think what I'm gonna do with this rifle next and this ammo, We'll give it a try. I'll shoot this target and uh, we'll post it and see how we do. Anyway, good stuff at 0.31 inches. Next best ammo is the Center X, 0.32. Um, well, you know, about a third of the, an inch. But you'll, you'll actually kind of notice my, my next few ammos are right around this size. So, you know, these next five or so ammos, different ammo types, they're all good. It's maybe the shooter, the weather, the rifle that maybe just kind of maybe make the variance a little bit, but I recommend all these. Uh, 
Next is a Ely. This is a match pistol. This stuff's shot, shot at 0.32, same as the Center X. So that's, that's, I mean, that's a good group size. Now, the Center X is somewhere around, and who knows what the price is. Right now, I think it's all out of stock. But I want to say they're somewhere around $12 a box. This stuff, I believe, is around $15 a box right now, maybe $14. So the Center X is slightly cheaper. Next is Ely Match. I actually think the Ely Match and the Ely Mass Pitchel, I think, is actually the same ammo in different boxes for marketing. This is just a guess. You know, the, the, when, I, when I shot the two, two, those two last ammo, I didn't change the torrents at all. And you can watch the video. Um, you know, they, they shot basically identically. I didn't have to, you know, change the torrents because of the velocity was different. They shot in the same place. Next is the X, uh, X Act. Kind of like how they named this. And it's one great looking box and it better be at about, I want to say right now it's about $25 a box of 50 rounds. Insane. This was 0.36 of an inch. This is a great ammo. Maybe too much ammo for this shooter and this rifle, but that the, was the end result. Okay, this next ammo here, this Ely Practice 100. Kind of intrigued on this. I, I, I realize it's number, what, fifth or sixth on the list at 0 .4, 40, 0 .41 of an inch. I'm going to figure out how to say that right. 0 .41 hundredth of an inch, I guess. Anyway, I just bought 2,500 more rounds of this. And this is what I'm hoping to shoot the ARA competition with the rest of the year. It's $10 a box. Uh, we'll see. I think it shoots pretty well. At, I don't know if I gave you the measurement. At point, yeah, I did. Uh, 41 hundredth of an inch. Next is the uh, SK Standard Plus. This was uh, 0.45. Good ammo. I mean, you think about this, 0.45, we're right in where the Tika shot its best rounds. This is another $7 a box round. Amazing, 10X is kind of down the list, right? Once again, gun, shooter, conditions, the day, you know, you just don't know. But this guy shot at, where is he, Ely 10X, 0.45. SK pitch, pistol match, uh, pistol match special. This at the beginning of the year is what I thought I was going to shoot the ARA match with. What did I just say that that measured out to be? 0.45, which is the same as the 10x. Um, but I think I actually feel like in my gut that the CZ likes Ely ammo better. And I gotta be honest, I like loading Ely ammo better, better. But, oops. By the time you get to the sixth round in a magazine, maybe even sooner, your, your fingers are so li liquidy or, I don't wanna say greasy, but luby from the liquidy lube. Anyway, uh, that it's, it's kind of a bummer. I gotta dry it off and then keep loading. So, I'm kind of happy that the CZ likes the Ely. We'll see how it goes long term. I made a mess here. Midas Plus. This guy shot at 0.48, almost half an inch for a, I want to say this is about $18 a round. It's right in line with the Ely 10X. An ammo that I didn't have a lot of hope on. But I actually thought it may have shot one good group, but it's this uh, Ely uh, Semi-Auto Venturest Precision. What a title. That's, that was at a half an inch, right at 0.5, half an inch. And I'll tell you what I am gonna do. I'm gonna shoot this stuff in my Velcorton Semi-Auto, you know, based on a 1022 and see how it does. We've got Ely Subsonic. 
this stuff shot 0.59 I was actually a little bit disappointed I actually think the Tika actually let's see if I can tell you in short order here okay actually the Ely uh, the the Tika shot this Ely 0.81 so I don't know why this stuff hasn't been doing good. I actually have had guns where I thought it shot very well. Go figure. I'm telling you, the CCI green tag has not been a winner for me in any gun. 0.62. Pistol match. Uh, yeah, pistol match by SK. 0.64. I was actually surprised when I was kind of lining up these ammos. I thought I had forgot this. I didn't realize it was going to be second to the last. That surprises me. I have a friend who shot this ammo, got a 2500 on the ARA target, shooting a, a Savage Mark II, I think TR is a model number. 2500 with this ammo. He loves this ammo. He shoots very well with it. So um, I was actually surprised that I didn't do well. In fact, this shoots very well in the Tika. Uh, my groups might not have been very good, but um, let's see here. Uh, this is pistol match in the Tika, uh, half MOA, or, well, MOA at uh, 50 yards, 0 0.50 on the, in the Tika. Now the CZ standard velocity actually this did very well in the Tika, last in this list. I was quite disappointed. In fact, I shot the two CZs, the green tag and the, and the standard velocity, the same day. And I just silenced that. Sorry about the. And it did so poor, I ended up shooting this SK um, uh, pistol match special, and the groups were very tight, very small. Uh, that was kind of a fun video to watch. Anyway, uh, um, where was I going with this? Oh, because the 2CZI ammo didn't shoot well, I thought, man, this, and I think it's the first video I did. And I was thinking, oh, this is not good. I wasn't sure if I was doing just terrible. I was having a bad morning. So then I shot this, and the groups were really nice and small. And so I said, okay, thank God it's not me. Um, but the CZ standard velocity... My daughter shot very well in the Tika. She, in fact, she, she won top targets on, on several matches with this stuff. All right, well, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching this. This will be a playlist. Go, if you haven't already seen the other videos, go for it. Like I said earlier, we're gonna take this guy and this guy, and we're gonna go shooting with it. See how well we do, see if this stuff holds up as well as it has so far. Thank you, please like, subscribe, shoot that bell, and God bless.